September 29, 1947. On a cold and windy day on the South Plains of West Texas, the Texas Tech Red Raiders played their first game in Jones Stadium and won. A lot may have changed over the past 65 years, but Saturdays in the fall, our boys line up and light up the double T scoreboard. And one fact remains, Jones AT&T Stadium is a hard place to win for anyone not wearing the red and black. More than 60,000 fans decked out in game day gear make their way to the stadium. Past Will and Soap Suds wrapped in style and past the rowdiest tailgating in Texas, up to the stunning facade of the stadium. The sound of the going band from Raiderland mixes with the smell of barbecue and brats in the air. Fans' anticipation is rivaled only by their excitement. As the mass rider leads the team down the field, fans sit on the edge of their seat, if they sit at all, alongside 12,000 wild students cheering louder than a crowd twice their size should, and don't stop until the clock hits zero. It's an intimidating atmosphere for anyone who comes through that visitor's tunnel, and no one is safe when the whistle blows. Not even the number one team in the nation. Deep strike, got the big man, country, pulls free, and touchdown, Red Raiders with a second to go. Because this is our nation, Red Raider Nation. This is something the Longhorns and Sooners know all too well, and something those Mountaineers from West Virginia will soon learn, as all three have to play in Lubbock this upcoming season. It comes as no surprise to the Texas Tech faithful that the Red Raiders were said to have the top home field advantage in college football, or that it's rated by fans, the media, and even the players themselves as one of the hardest places to visit in the Big 12. With your help, we can keep this tradition strong in 2012. So pack the Jones and cheer on your Texas Tech Red Raiders.